Hey guys, Joe back another video. And I am at Akiruno Off House. Uh, this Off House has uh, some video games. Um, I thought this was a hard off actually, but I guess there's no hard off uh, sign anywhere. But I've been to this uh, Off House a few times to pick up furniture for my house. Uh, they actually have a small section of video games. I'm using my Pivothead Smart Glasses. I actually acquired some, a new pair recently online for a really cheap price. So I thought I'd test them out. They're brand new. So hopefully this pair is better than my last pair. Um, so this is more of a test run. So let's go inside. They close in about an hour. So check it out. They have actually a lot of toys uh, as well. So hopefully the footage is good. Let's go to the video game section first. Or maybe I'm at the wrong one. Oh, they got a small section. I think I'm, I'm thinking of something else. A different uh, hard off off house. But uh, we'll just check this one out. We got some PS3s, some game hand, handheld stuff there. Well, if I can talk, the micro handhelds right there. Some camera stuff. want to build a Gundam this is a place to come right here all brand new Gundams some are old here we go so kind of vintage uh, kiss figure Kind of cool, actually. Yeah, a decent selection of toys. Well, I think my friend uh, Jim, or AKA uh, Kid Shuriken, would like this. This is from Akira. I can't remember the name. I re recently watched a video of his, and I remember he <laughs> him wanting a much, much larger model of that. Of course, you got your standard anime toys, the chibi ones. And I guess this, I, I forgot this one doesn't have any video games, <laughs> so sorry guys. But I'm going to show you some toys, I guess. Because there's, there's actually a hard off, uh, I think around a corner from here, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time to go to it. I might though. I do a quick tour of this one. I might be able to make it over there. This is really just a test video with these new glasses. I'm kind of talking to myself, walking through this uh, off house, which has some toys and very little video games. Ooh, this is old school uh, Ultraman. That's kind of cool, actually. It's kind of messed up. Anything cool down here? Uh, What's that little micro uh, transformer? Twenty bucks. Jeez. It's like an off-brand transformer. They want 20 bucks for. I'm not sure what anime this is from. Across, never heard of it. Yeah, they got tons of Gundams 
If you want to build a Gundam model, this is the place to come right here. I used to build a lot of these things, but I didn't really have enough time. So this is a big one. Jeez. Almost 100 bucks. I think I was missing some stuff, though. Like old school Power Rangers. It's kind of cool, actually. From Bandai. Not really in the Power Rangers. I respect it, but I don't collect for it. Well, so far, so good with my glasses. I don't hear any crazy beeps or anything. I haven't had to stop filming. Mario. Ooh, I, see a w I see a WWF. Uh, It's kind of cool, actually. Fifteen dollars, jeez. It is vintage, vintage, I guess. If it was Stone Cold, I probably would have got it, honestly. But it's DX Express or whatever. Fifteen bucks is a little steep. A lot of, a lot of Hot Wheels in here. No Pokemon cards here at this uh, off house, I don't think. I always kind of go through them all. All the bins, I never find any. Oh. I already have one. Not for that price, though. Yeah, only five bucks for a damn board. A little, a little light. Uh, but the rest of this is just uh, furniture, clothes, household items, things like that. Purses. There I am. I fixed my shirt. See my son. Actually, I think I missed a console aisle over here. Maybe. Nope. Did I? Uh, have a couple loose consoles. Maybe a Famicom Mini, or the original Famicom. Thirty bucks. Not sure if it works or not. Um, generic system, GameCube, twenty-seven about around twenty-seven bucks. Oh, yeah, Super Famicom with a Final Fight. It's actually a really good game. Forty-eight bucks though. Uh, it's discoloring a little bit. That was a Hello Kitty sewing machine. I don't see any Vigia games anywhere. Full blown like uh, airsoft guns here. It's pretty real to me. Yeah, this aisle here is pretty much all the toys they have, unfortunately. All the stuff that I would be interested in. But it's pretty much all the stuff you get out of the Sega arcades. That people resell. Apologize ahead of time if, my, if I'm turning my head too fast. I f forget that I'm filming. Ooh. Old school Dragon Ball. Ten dollars, jeez. One piece. And that's about it. Legos.
Let's see what time is it? Uh, I might I might be able to make it over to the other one. All right, here's uh, actually the second hard off, the one I actually wanted to go in the first place. I got about 30 minutes before it closes. That's plenty of time to uh, look at some video games. Actually, I got parked back here to make it easier for myself. Way easier to get out. All right, I'll see you guys when I get inside. All right, here it is. Hard off. Love these places. Now, usually this one has, has some pretty cool stuff in it. I got about 30 minutes, plenty of time. Now, they always have some really rare stuff in here, usually. Some like obscure video game stuff. Yeah, Famicom computer with a little light, looks like a light gun of some sort. Yeah, Famicom disc system. It's a complete with AC adapters for almost $200. That's kind of cool. That barcode battler? <laughs> Not quite sure what that is. It's a video game thing. Barcodes. We got handheld game gear there. We have a PC computer thing. A lot of box stuff for uh, train games. Neo Geo. $270. So 86 bucks for a Sega Genesis. A regular Famicom. 86 bucks. Man, these things are getting expensive. At least this hard off is expensive. Some system I've never heard of. TGI 8 Pi. I'm not quite sure what that is. This one has a lot of cool computer systems in it. Neo Geo Arcade Stick. It's got 3DO. Kind of computer basic. A lot of cool stuff in this one. Some uh, Famicom cases there. That's kind of cool. For three bucks a piece. Now this has a lot of games in it. Whoa. Seventy-five dollars. Jeez. We got Ill Bleed. That's a pretty rare game. Dreamcast. Five thousand yen. I do have other games that are not in cases, but I want to check these out. Lots of, uh, what's it called, uh, PC Engine, uh, Turbo Graphics cards here, a few cards, Rockman X6 for 1500 or 15 bucks for PS, or PlayStation, it's probably not too bad. Turtles, and there's probably some rare stuff here, I'm not quite sure, got Mother, Need a uh, kid Shuriken to look at these games for me. <laughs> you can read the uh, kanji pretty well. I cannot. Silhouette Mirage, Gunner's Haven. Now, these are probably all, all kind of rare, expensive games down here for. Uh, looks like uh, Turbo Graphics, I believe. PlayStation as well. Turtles, cart. A lot of awesome stuff in here. A lot of awesome stuff. Not quite sure how well you can see through my pinhead glasses though. Prices aren't too bad, but they're still pretty expensive. You got Super Mario Kart over there. You bought a, a TV with a Famicom. Not too bad, I guess. Let's walk down here a little bit. Some more airsoft stuff. 
It's like a Saturn out of the box, Turtles toy. We got some DVDs, I think. I don't collect DVDs. They do have a lot of toys here, too. A lot of toys. There's that jingle. Dun, 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 dun. Now, a lot of toys down here. Pretty cool stuff. My glasses just beep, so hopefully I have enough juice. It's about 90, 90%. I haven't been filming that long, honestly. So, hopefully it'll be okay. Give me some video games over here somewhere. There we go. Got Sega's N64 expansion pack. All the colors there. All the box systems you can think of. Famicom, Wii, generic systems, PS3. Oh, that's pretty good. It's one of those, uh, it's, it's the, basically the NES Classic or Famicom Classic equivalent. It's almost $130. Let's so, see, $30. Actually, it was it's actually double the price of what it is retail. I would not get that. Whoa. What kind of contraption is this thing? It's GameCube holder slash. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. The GameCube on wheels. <laughs> This place always has a lot of cool stuff. A lot of handhelds. I already have a lot of handhelds though. Is your PS4 Pro already? Wow. And then behind me is all the like, I guess modern games here, PS3. Got Vita. That's actually a pretty good game. Gravity Days. Persona 4 is a good game. Where's all the hard soft games at, though? Oh, they're down here. Nice. Spider Man. Wise. For 10 bucks. I'm sure uh, Kid Shuriken uh, is probably watching this and like, man, I really need one of those games. <laughs> Papyrus. I don't, I, maybe I should pick up a uh, Hudson Soft game and a uh, what's it called PC Engine Turbo Graphics. Yeah, PC Engine. I need to pick up PC Engine. I think. I don't know, man. That's another whole collection process. I love me some 16-bit games though. Dick Tra Sherlock Holmes. I'm not sure what they're good games. I don't want any racing games. We have Mega CD for uh, Sega. I don't have a Japanese Sega CD though. A lot of box stuff. Mega Drive. I actually have a lot of Mega Drive games. Tons of stuff. Vendor Holyfield Boxing. I have mostly what I want. There's a lot of rare stuff that I really can't afford. But I don't really want to pay, actually. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, PCFX game. color-coded Famicom carts. It's kind of cool. Yeah, you got N64, yeah, Super Famicom. All right, I found the Sega Saturn games. Dreamcast games. Mr. Driller. I actually haven't seen this game for Dreamcast. I might pick this up. 
Wait, what, eight bucks? Might pick this up actually. Haven't bought a Dreamcast game in forever. Yep. PlayStation, PS2. Okay, all these Game Boy games, Super Mario 2 World. All the box games down there. Actually, I'm not gonna pick this up. It says uh, scratches there, so I'm probably not gonna get this. I'll just put it back, I guess. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. Uh, the quality of the new Pivothead Smart Ar Architect Edition glasses. And uh, hit like, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.